Not too long ago, when the Muazin wanted to call Muslim worshippers to prayer, he climbed to the top of the minaret and used his vocal cords. Now the five times a day arduous climb is a thing of the past, thanks to loudspeakers. Technology meets religion on many levels. Today, if Muslims want to enjoy a rousing Friday sermon delivered in one of the world's holiest mosques, they need not leave their living room. A worshipper can read the sermon's transcript from the internet. He can also appoint someone from his family to record the sermon in his absence. People with a video camera or a small recording device can enter the mosque and record. We see it happening and we're not opposed to it. Muslim worshippers aren't the only ones who use technological developments in practicing their faith. A recent innovative project in one of Christianity's holiest churches provides worshippers with a one-of-a-kind experience. The Church of the Annunciation in Nazareth offers worshippers an opportunity to email a request for a priest to say a prayer on their behalf. At a pre-arranged time, they can open the church's website, watch and hear the priest as he prays for them. This idea is to help Christian brothers and sisters from all over the world to have the blessing and the grace of the Annunciation. I believe this is a way of bringing people closer in case someone needs it. It makes communication easier and quicker. Until not too long ago, if Jews wanted to ask God for something, they'd visit the Western Wall in Jerusalem and conceal their request within the cracks between the holy stones. This, according to tradition, is the believer's straight communication line to the Almighty. But for those living far from the place where the Jewish temples once stood, a fax machine is, if you'll forgive the expression, the answer to their prayer. In recent years, people used a fax and then an email. We are emissaries of these people. We don't read their messages. We simply press on the printer, print their requests, and then we put them in the Western Wall stones. And if by any chance the process takes place while worshippers are online, they may even be able to watch it live through the 24-hour Western Wall camera. Although some technological advances are roundly criticised by religious clerics, they believe others can be used for the benefit of believers. Today the internet web is wide, it's huge. The church can also benefit from these means in order to reach as many people as possible, to which it can convey its message. We regard science and religion as two parallel lines, which do not cross each other. We benefit from science as it is strengthening religion. We say, science calls for religion, and that is what should be. People feel the Western Wall is deep in their hearts. They are interested in it, and they are taking advantage of our generation's technological developments to connect to the glorious past of the Jewish nation.